In this video, I'll be showing you step by step on how to use a Veil 1X covering views below from 1 to 6. Yes. Okay, in this first one, I'll show you how to log in. First step, you just have to click the icon, a Veil 1X. When this little icon comes up, make sure it's on the extension that you're covering on that computer. You don't need to worry about the password or anything else. Just make sure the extension is correct. As soon as you've done that, just press login. As soon as this window comes in, all you have to do is just go to this key icon here called login. Press it. And the name and password will be called for the on site. Yes. As soon as you press the key log, this little icon will come up. At the moment, I'll be using the login as Wellington Wellington, but you'll be provided with your own, depending on which department you're in. Okay, I'm going to enter the password and the name. Do so now. As soon as you press enter, Press enter again and another window will pop up and this will be the whole function of a Veo system. The very first step is logging in to make your Aveo lo active. The first step is pressing login. A dial tone will come up on your headset. As soon as you press your agent number, just press hang up. They won't be able to see that. So. This one. Okay, now you've logged in, this will pop up. The first thing you shall do is press login, and as soon as you press login, they will have a dial tone. As soon as you hear the dial tone, put your agent number that's provided to you. As soon as you hear two bleeps after that dial tone, just press enter, which will hang up the client. Now we're logged in, I'm going to talk about the key blocks, the functions of each and every one of these. I'm just going to extend the bar so you can see a little bit more clearer. The first one I'll be teaching you will be receive, park and the extensions on the top. These function key blocks are just used for bleeping other people, other key... All right, let me just restart about key box. The first section I'm going to teach you about is the very top bars, which will be receive, park, and the extension numbers. These key blocks will be used for bleeping other bleep holders to reach, uh, for people that's calling internal and external. Okay, the very first key block you will see here will be called retrieve. If you've done a mistake on a call and you want to get the call back to try another extension, all you have to press is receive and then the call will come back and you'll be able to hear the other person on another line. The next one will be park. This key function will be, uh, will be the one. The next function that I will be teaching will be park. This function is only used when you're trying to bleep someone. So as soon as you get a call in, you press park and then put them into one of the extensions as you see here. I'm just going to let me just talk about park again, sorry. On this function park is to do with bleeping other bleep holders and it will integrate with these extensions that you see here. As soon as you get a call and you've been asked to bleep someone, for you to put them onto one of these extensions, all you have to do is press park. As soon as you press park, just enter any of these extensions and you'll be able to put them on hold. So you're going to press park, let's press park, and then you type the bleep number. Oh, you press, sorry. Oh, you press yeah. one of these. Pick buttons. one of these okay. and press. Yeah, please carry on. Thank you. Yeah. The next one will be 
D and D on and D and D off. These are only used for impatients if they want anyone to be diverted, like external calls to be diverted to another number. You just take their extension or their room number, press D and D on, and you will hear a dial tone come on. As soon as you hear the dial tone, put in the room number and it should. And you will hear two bleeps. As soon as you hear two bleeps, just press hang up and their phone should be diverted. D and D off is exactly the same, but just taken off the diverted dial tone of that room. It's exactly the same process. You press D and D off the room number, and then you will hear two bleeps. As soon as you hear two bleeps, just hang up. If you do want to double check, that you put the room on D and D off or on. Just dial the room number to see if it's actually diverted or undiverted, and that should be fine from there. The next so function. You're going to show us how to dial numbers anyway. It's pretty simple on here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I could show you how to take a room number to divert, and then I'll show you how to take it off divert. Okay, just make sure your call or your avaya is on post busy and training. This will divert any incoming calls to your station. As soon as you've done that, press D and D on to divert a call. You will have a dial tone on the other side. Type in the room number, whichever room from the keyboard as you see here. As soon as you type in the room number, you will hear two bleeps. As soon as you hear two bleeps, that means it's active. And any calls that go through to that room will be diverted to an automated message. The next one, I'll just show you again how to use DND off and make sure that it is on divert off. All you have to do is exactly the same. Make sure you're on position, position busy. Yeah and training or admin so then all incoming calls will be diverted as soon as you've done that press D and D off you'll hear a dial tone in the background put in the room number and then as soon as you hear two bleeps that means it's deactivated and calls m will be able to go through to the patient's room just make sure as soon as you do so just double check on the room number that you've diverted to see if it's active or non-active the next function will be position busy, admin, training, and break lunch. Position busy will be will switch off your active avaya, so incoming calls won't come on. Admin training and break lunch will just show you on the system on which. Okay, I'll be talking about the key functions of position. I'll be talking about the key functions of position busy, admin, training, and break lunch. Position busy will be the main key that you would use before clicking admin, training, or break lunch. Each of these functions is as you see. If you're doing admin work. You click in admin so that the system will know and everyone else will know that you're on admin work and vice versa with training and break lunch. Next one that I'll be talking about will be hold. Now if you have a person calling you and you would need to ask your colleague or your supervisor any help or information, put them on hold and the person on the other line will go straight on hold and they won't be able to hear you, they will have an automated music on the side. For you to see that they're on hold... Yeah, this, it's 38803. Now, as, as you see here, I have a call. As soon as I answer it, I'll put them on hold and I'll show you where you can view where the person will be hold, on hold to. Now I've answered it, I press hold, and as you see, it's gone from this icon here. As soon as you see these, um, as soon as it's gone, just check that it's on hold, and you'll see these three columns here.
key blocks preview history audio all just click preview and then you'll see the call on hold here so this is the one that you put on hold yeah so it will come under preview okay. yeah so anytime you use hold just make sure you click this column so you see all your hold calls on my past um, experiences I've forgotten that I've put them on hold and I've kind of lost so many calls. So how do you talk to them again? Then? Can I say the other uh, for you to receive them back so that you could um, start talking to them again, all you have to do is double click on that call and then it will come back to this one. Oh, yeah, so, like I said, I'll just show again. When you put on hold, it will disappear from here. You go into preview and it will be here. If you want to bring it back, all you have to do is double click on any part of this white box and it will come back to Richard. Okay. And now I'm going to hang up. The next function I shall be talking about will be log in and log out. As I said in the beginning, when you log in, you just have to log in in here, dial tone, put your agent number and then end the call as soon as you hear two bleeps. If you don't hear two bleeps, that means it hasn't worked, and then on this little column here, it will turn red. Yes, I'll do a demo now. So I'll do a demo of doing it wrong, and you'll see that this will turn red. So as soon as you click it, it will go green, and then you'll hear dial tone on your headset. As soon as you enter the agent number, I'm going to do a wrong one first to see to show you that it will go red. And as you see, you type the wrong agent and make gone red. Okay. Now it's gone red, and then you'll hear a completely different dial tone, which will be just a, which is not a correct one. Which is not a correct one. So make right. For you to correct it, just end, just press end the enter. call. And just press enter and end the call. Start again. Press it. Yeah. And then put your agent number. So as soon as you put your agent number, they have the agent number. They know about the agent number. Yes, that's correct. Okay. It will be provided to them. Okay. So as soon as you press it. Put the end agent number, and as you see, it hasn't changed color. It's still green. That means you've logged in. Now that you've logged in, make sure you put yourself in ready, because even though you've logged in, it will still active acts like you're not logged in until you press ready, admin, training, or break lunch. Once you log in, you can use ready, admin, training, lunch. And as you see, now I've clicked ready. It's gone green admin training that means you're actually logged into the system and it's now active to use so once you press ready you can take calls and you can work as well. that's correct yes. and how about if you press admin if you press admin all calls coming into you your switchboard will be diverted to another switchboard user okay or it will just go on hold until you're ready to take them okay and training training is exactly the same as admin and break okay. It says if you are on training, then you just click that. Break is for when you're on lunch. For logout, all you have to do is make sure you're on position busy and press logout. As soon as you press logout, you'll hear two bleeps. And all you have to do is press enter, and then the system will be logged out. And you would have no more calls coming in. To log out, you have to press position, pause busy or position busy first, and then first. log out. Exactly that. Okay. And as soon as you hear two bleeps, if you don't hear two bleeps, that means your system wasn't logged in in the first place, or it's it wasn't able to log that the system that has been logged out. Do you want to talk about anything more about bleeps? Just a quick one again, maybe. Yeah. On bleeps, I will talk the about point, bleeps. Point number, three. point number three. Yes. Okay, on this next step, I'll be talking about on how to bleep, bleep holders and transfer people. One more thing on key blocks before I go on to step three, which will be bleeps. So on your Avaya system, you may have more key blocks on your system. But the ones that I've just shown you are the main ones that you should be using or may be using. Okay, so every side would have could have more than these ones. Yeah, it, the every, ones ones. yeah, every site will have everything that you see here. But in some you may have one or two or even more icons which will be explained if if so. The next step I'll be teaching you will be how to bleep 
a bleep holder or any bleep holders around the hospital. The first thing you do is actually fine. For this step, I'll be talking about bleeps, which is section three. Uh, the first thing I'll be talking about is when you have a call on and they're asking you to bleep another bleep holder. The first thing you have to do is as soon as you receive a call, which I'll get my colleague to call my line. Yeah, let me just the extension The extension is three eight eight zero three. Now as soon as you have a call and they ask you to put you through to a bleep, all you have to do is answer the call, put uh, park, and then you'll hear dial tone at the end of it. And then choose any of the extensions that you have available. Make sure the extensions that you're going to choose hasn't have a green light on them. If there's a green light on them, that means someone else is using that extension, which means it won't be active. Or you're just going to bleep someone else through to another person. Now I've picked a extension, you would hear two bleeps, which means that extension is now active. All you have to do is just press enter to hang up the call. Mm, I didn't mention, but I shall mention now, as before you press enter to hang up the call, make sure you put yourself in position busy, training and admin. This will divert any incoming calls to come through, because as you will see when you're on a call and as soon as you hang up, it will give priority to the next call that will come as soon as. So if you want to carry on to the bleep, the process of bleeping, make sure you put yourself on position busy, admin or training, so that all incoming calls will be diverted. As soon as you've done that, make... As soon as you've done that, dial 30400. This is a line that will be able to patch you through to the multi paging system. Before you're able to pick any options internally through that call, you have to press F4 or Tones, which will be on the bottom here, and DTMF. These two functions will be able to allow you to enter any number within a call for options and categories. So now I've pressed Tones and DTMF. I shall pick one, which will be option one, to dial a user number. 